Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for f April 22nd, 2019. So my goodness, we had kind of a turbulent weekend um, of news, and that's kind of typical for these long three-day weekends. There's always risk of these long weekends. First off, there were the terrible uh, terrorist um, attacks in Sri Lanka, um, attacking Easter services, churches, and, and things like that. Um, lots of lots of death. Um, terrible, terrible things. I don't know what's wrong with these people. But then we kind of move on from there to uh, um, all of the political drama that's being developed over the, the Mueller report and all of the, um, the news circulating and, and the spin cycle that's going on with that. There's just a lot of turbulence. And consequently, futures this morning are looking just slightly bearish. Um, not terribly bearish, but slightly bearish this morning. Little pullback expected in the market. As some of the as the market kind of reacts, I guess, to some of this turbulence. Now, keep in mind we have a huge, massive week of earnings ahead of us. Also, keep in mind that we have a uh, well, we have several um, uh, items on the economic calendar that are are uh, substantial this week that we need to think about um, as we plan our week forward, and also we have the possibility that today, um, with several countries uh, being uh, closed today, markets closed today, um, as they expect, they do their Easter holiday on Monday. Just keep in mind that um, a lot of traders and investors may have extended their vacations uh, for the holiday through today. So we could see after the morning pop, after the morning rush happens, we could see the market kind of become very slow grind, grinding price action, choppy price action, um, just because of a lack of uh, volume and folks kind of coming back from their holiday. So keep that in mind as a possibility today. We could just kind of float around and wander around here today. So let's take a look at what's going on. First off this morning, this is the diamonds. The diamonds breaking that downtrend here on Friday um, and looking really, really good. Look like we, I mean, on Thursday, looking like we wanted to move higher here or want to move higher, which is a good sign. And we're kind of holding on to, you know, this trend in here. We're looking really, really good here, uh, technically in the chart. Now, what's going to be important, obviously, is that we hold on to that. And you can see this morning, we're getting that gap down here this morning close to uh, Thursday's open. And as long as we hold in there, I think we're okay. If we consolidate across here, holding on to that level, I think we're gonna be in good shape. However, if we were to happen to fail or drop below um, those areas, if we, if we uh, cannot hold on to those support areas, that will be a critical failure uh, possibility. And, and we don't wanna see that happen. Remember, we need to, the market is really trying hard, and I think it, it just seems uh, um, unlikely to me that some way the market's going to find um, something to move it up here and test these highs. But remember, market failures can occur. And they do occur at lower highs. So we'll want to be re very respectful of resistance levels above and support levels below and plan our trading very carefully around that. Market has some big questions to answer right here. Will the earnings be enough? Will they be good enough to inspire us higher up to new record highs and maybe even above? Or will the analyst concerns of, a, of that economic slowdown actually um, come to fruition um, in these earnings reports showing that we're struggling or having a hard time proving that these current prices are, um, are valid based on earnings? So big questions to be answered. So far, earnings have had, uh, that we've had so far have been pretty good. So we'll have to kind of keep an eye on that. Anything is possible here. But remember, analysts have been kind of 
steering us that we could have a bit of a struggle in this earning season. And as it really ramps up this week, and I mean really ramps up this week, nearly 800 companies reporting earnings uh, this week, things can get a little bit, um, well, a little bit crazy. Expect extra volatility, substantial volatility in price action. Expect big morning gaps as a possibility. Um, we get those earnings reports after the bell in a lot of cases, and then the market reacts the next day. So we could see um, we could see big morning gaps and lots of extra volatility. So make sure you're planning your trading carefully um, and accordingly uh, to the condition that the market is in. So let's take a look at the SPY here real quickly. SPY had a, well, just a flat day. And I gotta tell you, I'm not all that impressed with the with the candle price action here in the SPY, but I'm not overly bearish about it um, either. And the reason is, is because we're still holding trend. All we're doing right now is we're testing a price resistance level and we're struggling up here. And there's really no reason to believe that we uh, are ready to fail looking at this price action. However, there is the possibility that we could still pull back, pull back toward the trend. So no big worries here, but there is just that little bit of caution as we press up toward these new levels. If we start seeing a struggle up here, we wanna be very cognizant of that. We wanna watch that closely and we wanna plan carefully around that. Just respect price resistance. Don't think the market can just go one direction, okay? Um, as I'm recording this, futures are seeing a little bit more pressure. We just flashed um, in the Dow futures down 70 points. So we're bouncing around here this morning as we get reactions to earnings reports. Watch the uh, watch this market closely. We could um, we could see a little bit of pressure, and what we don't want to see is is panic coming into the market. Let's take a look at the Qs. QQQ holding up very very well. Been very strong, holding this trend just like a champ doesn't want to let go of that but we're struggling with that breakout we try and, and and just haven't quite made that breakout occur really really close to that and we'll have to see if we can kind of push through but this morning we're looking at a gap lower here um, at the moment we're pushing down uh, this morning so we we want to see uh, this hold on we want to see this trend hold in place and it wouldn't be you know all that impossible for this to pull back into here testing the support one more time before we have that opportunity to move higher so don't be too surprised if we have to build a little bit of energy to pop through uh, that all-time high resistance whoops now the IWM the IWM has really um, a, a reason for concern for the market. Oftentimes, IWM can lead the market. And I'm not suggesting that's what's happening here, but the possibility does exist that, that IWM could lead the market lower. And what we're seeing here in IWM is this major struggle around this resistance in here. We cannot seem to, to get ourselves up through here on these small caps and then pushing down here, breaking this little uptrend um, is a little bit of a concern. Now, the good part of that is that so far we're holding this price support and that's a good sign and we saw a little buying come back in on Thursday um, toward the end of the day trying to push it higher but struggling here just a little bit so this morning we're looking at IWM gapping just a little bit lower and um, as long as we hold this support I think we're okay but fear might really start coming into the market if that were to fail in here and drop below this level we could see that fear starting to creep up so keep an eye here on IWM there might be a few little um, issues here to be concerned about in in that index let's take a look at um, the VIX VIX on Friday excuse me Thursday 
um, parking itself right down here near this big support level. As you can see, I'll pull this back. There's a lot of price support in here. And we've pushed all the way back down into this level. Now, some and you've heard me talk about this, the possibility that we could be getting a little bit complacent here in the market. Complacency kind of comes in when the market um, has no fear of a sell-off. And um, complacency can really get us in trouble really, really quickly. But so far, there's no signs here of, of, of a major increase in fear. If you take a look, we're, we're definitely downtrending here in our fear and just moving down in this channel. Um, so nothing here um, to be majorly concerned about yet. We'll just have to keep an eye on this. If we do get some selling um, in the market and that sell off and this starts to creep up, that's where we'll have to worry about it. And I honestly think we won't be getting into a major fear problem until we can break up through here and hold that as support. Then, then we've got some worries and you can see those kind of big spikes that happen um, up in that area. That's where we catch those levels and move higher so we'll want to watch that close if fear starts to creep up let's take a look at t2122 t2122 is a four week new high new low ratio and i plot that just on a line chart and as you can see you go back as far as you want to go back and 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 we reach up here toward these levels and we typically see an overbought condition of the market and we pull back we get clear down here in these levels we see an oversold condition Condition in the market and we tend to move higher so it's very very reliable indicator and you can see right now um, it doesn't tell us which way we're going to go it only gives us those clues when we're in that overbought or oversold bullish or bearish regions and so far um, uh, or as of today we're we're in neither one of those and we're right down here toward the middle of the range um, so that gives us plenty of potential to move upside if the bulls can get in Inspired, plenty of potential to move down if the bears get inspired now my sus I suspect with the futures showing a little bit of selling this morning and by the way futures have all of a sudden popped back up in just that short period of time we've gone from 70 points down in the Dow to 60 points down in the Dow so we're flipping around here as earnings come out just keep in mind that if we gap down this morning that will move likely move this t2122 a little bit lower and as we approach that medium, uh, that 50 point, uh, that 50 percent area in here, we're just have we just have that perfect opportunity. We could go either direction. So, kind of keep an eye on that. Um, no big directional change suggested here in T2122. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Um, not much here on the calendar, but we do have one big report at 10 o'clock a.m. Um, and that is existing home sales. Existing home sales, um, you know, obviously, obviously home sales are very, very important as a measure of our economy, the health of our economy. With um, interest rates having pulled back here recently, we could see this number perk up a little bit. So let's kind of keep an eye on that. Existing home sales will be that number that really could move us around. If that number were to come in poorly, obviously the market would not appreciate that at all. But as of right now, consensus is expecting a, um, a relatively good number um, um, on that at 10 o'clock a.m. Eastern today. So keep that in mind. Let's uh, take a look on the earnings calendar. We had about 80 companies reporting earnings today and they're they're coming in pretty fast, pretty furiously this morning markets getting um, its reaction to those um, reports and that will continue on now just keep in mind that that is only going to increase uh, tomorrow over 150 companies reporting over 200 on Wednesday over 300 on Thursday reporting so make sure you're taking the time if you take a look at charts take a look at like 
Coke here. Coke has been rallying up toward earnings. Keep in mind, we um, watch these earnings dates. We don't want to be buying trades just before an earnings report uh, unless you have some kind of really specific earnings plan on that trade. Um, as we know, earnings, anything is possible, and we've got a bunch of them. Uh, coming out this uh, out this week so keep that in mind some big hitters coming out in these reports and they can really move the market around so watch that closely as we approach some of those earnings reports and one of the things that's really kind of nice is um, here on my charting platform I use TC2000 and you can see I can place that earnings date right at the top of the chart um, that next earnings date very very handy when I'm looking at a chart looking at a potential setup to see that earnings report and when it is coming um, on these trades so here's Amazon reporting on the 25th we know that could be a really big day when some uh, one of these big companies like this reports. so watch those earnings reports you know the market does not reward laziness in any way shape or form you can get lucky with an earnings report but it doesn't reward laziness if you go to work and 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 really focus in um, on these earnings reports your trading plan your um, trading rules and things like that that's the best thing you can do remember trading is a business just like any other a, a lazy person in business a, someone that doesn't want to check reports that just wants the easy button um, you're likely to lose your money very very quickly so keep that in mind you have to have a plan don't don't think that you can just wing it and um, survive um, an earning season intact. You can be damaged very, very badly if you rush into trades not paying attention to those earnings reports. Okay? So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please do me a favor. Click that subscribe button on YouTube. Click that bell icon. When you click that subscribe button, the little bell icon pops up. Make sure and click that. That will make to, will notify you when you um, uh, uh, or excuse me when I post a new video. So it will notify you so that you can always catch that video. Um, keep in mind these videos are meant to just help other traders, and um, I do this um, as just part of. Well, I don't want to call it paying back. I think that gets used too much anymore. But um, I feel very, very grateful to have been able to trade full time for a living uh, now for 14 years. And um, to be able to share some of what I've learned in all of the years of struggle that I had before I got the ability to trade full time. Um, and if that can be helpful to anyone, um, if you find this stuff helpful, please click that subscribe button and help me share that information with other folks. And also do me a favor, click that share button on YouTube and grab that link and just post this over. Um, you can certainly post it over on your Facebook feed. You can post it on YouTube or, or I mean, uh, not YouTube, but um, Twitter, any of those places like that and social media. Feel free to share this video. Um, with any friends and family. So with that, everyone, let's take a look at a few charts that could be setting up things that you might want to be keeping an eye on in the days ahead. Now take a look at Tiff. I've mentioned Tiffany's several times. Tiffany's will be reporting. And um, this is one of those where you really have to pay attention to. And you can see the bid ass spread is, is really, really wide here. And we're waiting for that Tiff report to come out. Keep an eye on this after that report. Um, anything is possible here, but we could see some good moves in this chart. Um, we could see an ugly failure. So keep an eye on that Tiffany's um, as it reports. Take a look at GIS. Now GIS doesn't report until 626 and you can see a beautiful pattern here holding up very, very well. That pattern looking good and I'm just looking for that to maybe pop and move higher. Whoops, wrong tool here. To pop and move higher as um, 
these earnings reports and things like that come out if there's inspiration this is a beautiful pattern and that pattern continues to prove itself over and over and over and the trend continues to prove itself over and over and over we're just following this trend and moving higher so let's watch this chart uh, keep in mind we do have resistance levels above to be paying attention to as well on GIS but it's one of those consumer defensive sectors that if the market starts getting a little bit nervous or shaky um, consumer defensive sector can really um, prove to be uh, pretty handy uh, to trade because folks will move over there, particularly because they're trying to get the relative safety of these big old companies and pick up the dividend yield at the same time. Okay, keep an eye on Cisco. Cisco has just been in a beautiful uptrend. Now it's testing some upper resistance levels from a long time ago. Here's a weekly chart. We pulled this back some years and years ago, testing some resistance levels over here. So we wanna keep an, um, keep an eye on that um, in Cisco. But as we're moving up this beautiful trend and just this beautiful price pattern, is this is a pattern I used to call um, a, stepper, a stepper. And we just move up in these nice little consecutive steps. It's just like climbing a staircase, moving up. and. This little pullback in here so far, not a big problem as long as we can hold on to some price support in here. We'll wanna watch this if we consolidate over and move through, if we pull on back and move up, watch that level in there. Um, Cisco still looking pretty good. Take a look at o Oracle. And by the way, um, Cisco doesn't report until 515, so plenty of time on Cisco. Oracle reports on 618, another great pattern in here, moving up strongly and this getting this nice little pullback to support, moving over toward the trend. This is one to put on your list to watch to see if that can move on higher once it uh, tests in there and has plenty of time to um, to prove support. So watch Oracle closely. Could be setting up nicely. Take a look at Zynga. Z-N-G-A. Zynga had a kind of an ugly little pullback here, but you can see that pullback found some price support right here and a really nice move here on Thursday pushing higher and you can see this morning Zynga is wanting to gap up a little bit so you might want to watch this is a nice little um, rejection of a low here and a possible follow through to the upside you might want to keep an eye on Zynga if that can move itself on through that level so few charts to take a look at you might want to pay attention to uh, lulu now lulu reports on 5 30. notice after its big gap up lulu has just been grinding higher here there's been no seller sellers coming into this mark or into this stock you can see holding up in this area and just moving higher uh consecutively uh just up and up and up and up doesn't want to uh, find any sellers in here so you might want to keep an eye on lulu moving up looking good um take a look at apple um full disclosure right way options is in apple we're in a nice profit position on apple and apple's looking okay this morning might be catching just a little bit of a pullback this morning no particular worries about it yet um nice little breakout in here looking nice and here's that pattern again where we just kind of move up and step up along this trend and so we're just looking at this to possibly move higher up into uh, this area here around that 209 nine um, and it's moving toward its earnings report so oftentimes we'll see a company just take a little bit of a rise a lift up during those earnings reports um, at, at heading into the earnings reports not during so with that everyone hey i want to wish you all a fantastic day i want to wish you great profits i know this video is a little bit long this morning got a little bit long-winded here i apologize for that um, please do me a favor click that subscribe button and also i want to encourage everyone to never give up on your trading take care everyone have a great day and i wish you all the best